'twas the eve of winter break, and all through the school, not a creature could be heard stirring, except Mr. Burgess on Zoom. Polly, Bob, come quick. I think I'm losing my mind. How is it the end of December and we're only online? Grab your art palettes and we'll talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great winter break. That's not winter break yet for me. This is the last thing I have to do is I'm out the door. So bear with me in case I'm uh, a little silly. Today, we are talking about element number five, which is line, which you see here right on your element of art palette. I am asking you to do a couple things with this. This is not a hard splotch to fill in, but I do want you to make it complex and interesting. So you will note on the posting for this assignment, when you get there, I have included a types of lines poster. Whee! There you go. I had the camera zoomed in. So here's what it looks like. IRL, although it's pretty large. So there's a picture on Google Classroom that you can reference. Meanwhile, back to line. So I am going to have you for this splotch create what I hope maybe you'll do is a pattern of lines. And I want you to use at least six different types of line to fill this in. Notice that I don't have much in the way of blank space. I filled it all in. Uh, I've actually used 11 different types of lines, but what I've done is I've repeated dots and dashes, and in between each set of dots and dashes, I've put in a different type of line. Please come up with your own pattern. Do not copy mine. And again, I have that types of line sheet for you to reference if you are stuck. You don't have to use those lines. You can pretty much come up with anything, and you may even want to refer back to the Zentangle sheet that I posted for you on the previous assignment. A lot of Zentangles can be turned into lines. You could take little florets and make a whole string across. You might also want to think about employing diagonal lines or zigzags like we talked about during the lecture for this series. So this should be pretty simple. Again, you need to have at least, at least six types of lines. Don't just put six lines, all right? So not just six, at least six, but you need to fill the whole space, okay? So ideally you'll come up with a repeating pattern and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. See you soon.